our pal Bobby Lockhart coming in with this one. And uh, full disclosure, I totally missed the boat on down. Um, uh, you got your, your Phil Anselmo in there, fan of some Pantera stuff. You got, I think, Kirk Winstein's in there, fan of some Crowbar stuff. You got Pepper Keenan, fan of some uh, Corrosion of Conformity stuff. Never got on the down. Uh, I never got the down low on the down, but we're doing this for our buddy Bobby. Uh, and we're doing the song, Bury Me in Smoke, today. And someone else put in another request, so the following week we're going to be doing more down. Um, and I can't remember what song that was that they were talking about doing, but that's for another week and another time. This is Bobby time. Remember in Goonies when they say, it's our time down here. Up there, it's their time. But it's our time down here. Well, it's Bobby Lockhart's time right now. So we're going to get into the song, Bury Me in Smoke, and we're going to learn a little bit about down, and then we're going to listen to that song. So if it sound good to you, it sound good to me. Let's do it right now. Down, they have 350,685 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams, they all come from that record right there. So they put out, that's uh, Down 2 or NOLA. They, the, the album covers look uh, very familiar, or very similar. Um, top five jammers here, uh, Stone the Crow. And I think I have heard that, and I think we might have done a reaction video to it. 22 million plays. You got Bury Me in Smoke, the song we are doing here today. That's got 7.1 million plays. Lifer, 5.3 million plays. Number four slot, you got Temptations Wings, 4.2 million plays. Rehab, 3.2 million plays. So, I mean, they're being listened to. Uh, Stone the Crow, is that an album that came out in 2020? Is that some kind of a redo? Since we're talking about albums, let's get into it and find out for sure. It looks like you got NOLA, that came out in 1995. Then you got Down 2, that came out in 2002. Then you got Down 3, Over the Under, 2007. Uh, and then you got Diary of a Mad Band Live, that came out in 2010. Down 4, Part 2. 2014, and Stone the Crow came out in 2020. Are you familiar with all this? I hope so. Now we're going to get into related bands, and there should be a Crowbar on there, and a, and a Pantera, and a Corrosion of Conformity, if, uh, if they're there. Uh, so let's look at it. Let's see. Uh, you got Corrosion of Conformity. You got Alabama Thunder Pussy. We've done them on the channel. You got Crowbar. Uh, you got uh, Kingdom of Sorrow. That's uh, Kirk Winstein and... Uh, and the fellow that sings for Jamie Jossa that sings for Hatebreed, that's their band. Caius uh, on here. Clutch, the fantastic Clutch. We've done plenty of Clutch stuff on this channel. Uh, Rebel meets Rebel, and I want to say we have done a bit of that on the first listens. Orange Goblin, some stoner, gloomy doom, stoner rock. The Sign of the Southern Cross. You got Acid Bath. We've done a bunch of Acid Bath. We've, list we've done reactions, and we've done first listens. I Hate God. And monster magnet. So that's a that's a pretty pretty delicious set of uh, uh, of related artists there, right? Now we're gonna get into the bio, and then we're gonna listen to the song. And you got the dudes here, and they look uh, they look a little uh, worn and torn, but they're it's still rocking fellows. And uh, and uh, old Phil Anselmo, he's got his he's holding on to his wrist with the other hand. He says. Walk on home, buddy. Shane, get over here and have a nice cold beer with us, and let's get a nice, you know, nice high five from you, and a, maybe we'll play a little hacky sack later. Down are an all-star heavy metal side project whose original lineup consisted of members from Pantera, singer Phil Anselmo, Corrosion of Conformity guitarist Pepper Keenan, uh, Crowbar guitarist Kirk Winstein, bassist Todd Strange, and drummer Jimmy Bauer. Formed in the mid-90s when Pantera were on a brief break between their Far Beyond Driven and the Great Southern Trendkill releases, the quartet's members had been longtime friends and decided to break, to break up their downtime, hence the name, Down. The East-West label issued Down's 1995 debut NOLA, an abbreviation for New Orleans, uh, where all the group's original members came from. While many assumed that the band would specialize in over-the-top extreme metal, it contained more elements of classic rock than the members' usual bands, a prime influence of the group being Black Sabbath. So there you have that. And I do remember them being kind of, it was soulful. Whatever tune that was that I heard, it was very, 
Oh, yeah, baby. You know, that kind of stuff. So it is that time for Bobby Lockhart, our friend. We're going to get into the song Bury Me in Smoke. This is the titty, Bobby. This is it. I plug this in my ear, but first I give you a taste. I give you a taste, then we listen to the song together. Sound good? Let's do it right here, right now. Bury me in smoke. Heavy sludgy. Come here. Bury me in smoke, sweet baby child. That's a nice little riff. It's weird, it's almost like there's space in there somewhere where I'm not. Is it bass that I'm not hearing as well as I should? Seems like it's missing a little low end for some reason. Well, that's nice. When I die, bury me in smoke, honey child. Yeah, that's a pretty great riff there. Drums are mixed up nice and high too, you know. Someone whispering over the top of a... Gotta know the reason why. It's almost like you can hear the bass wanting to... Volume needs to go up a little bit. Am I right? Wrong? Is this because they like the marijuana? They want to be buried in marijuana smoke? That's a great riff. You got two damn good guitar players there. Riffs are just flying all over the place. That's probably Pepper right there.
Or maybe that's pepper. That riff right there totally sounds like something off that Albatross record from, yeah, I could hear that. Or off the Blind album, Corrosion and Conformity. What they gonna do, they gotta fade this out? This is where they get into that phase. How are we gonna end it, guys? Gotta go for the fade. There's just those particular riffs where you don't know what to do. How do we stop it? What do we do? Fade it out. Keep on going down. Drink some more whiskeys. Harry will get you on out of there. Uh, definitely, I can hear some. Uh, I could definitely hear some uh, COC guitar riffage in that. Oh my God! It's still going. The most expensive fade in and out ever. They never made any money. It all went to Harry. And a fade back out. Are you going to do it again? Okay. Lifer. Boom, chicka pow, chicka pow, la la ding dong. Chicka pow, chicka pow, la la ding dong. That was an expensive deal that they just did there. They faded that song out, said, We don't know what to do it. And, and Phil and someone said, Fade it back in, baby, and then fade it back out again, baby. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're gonna do down here in Orleans. We're gonna go get a hunting too and jambalaya. Uh, what say you? Most important part of my videos as always is where you get in the comments below. I know Bobby will be down there and he'll have his opinions and thoughts and opinions on this song. So I'd love for you to get down there and you to get down there and tell me exactly what you think of Down, what you think of the song Bury Me in Smoke. Good, great, fantastic, Shane. I am a huge fan of Down. In fact, you're not going to believe this. You're probably going to want to shit in your hat and put it back on when I tell you this. But Down, I like Down better than I like all of those bands. Pantera, COC, uh, uh, Crowbar, all of it. I like Down the best. Down is my all-time favorite band. I have a tramp stamp that says Down on my back. Right down by my ass crack. I've got that down there. All-time favorite songs, all-time favorite album. Do you, like, uh, do you like NOLA? Do you like Down 2? What about Down 3 or Down 4? Um... Have you ever seen them live? I know that they've done some touring and such and stuff. I'd love to know what you think of that. What's the, what was the experience like the very first time you heard a down song and you knew they were gonna be your all time favorite band? And what was it like the very first time the curtain dropped and you saw down before your eyes and you said, hot potatoes, there they are. Or you could say, not good, not great, Shane. It was groovy, it was sludgy, it was slow, it was doomy, it was southern fried, it was Nolans, it was everything in there. It was just also not my cup of tea. Don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to that again. Just not a fan. Not saying that they're not good or not great or any of that. It's just not my cup of tea. It's what I don't, I don't gravitate to it, don't want it, don't need it. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know, you fine and fantastic and frosty folks. If you have a hard rock, heavy metal special request, you'd like to see it on this channel, simple, easy, lemon squeezy, just hit one of them links in the description below. We'll get it on for you in your honor with thumbsy upsies to you. Or you can put it in the comments. Bobby Lockhart put his in the comments, and, I, and he says, did I get your attention? And I said, yes, you did. You got it. Uh, and so you can put your uh, request in the comments below. If I see it, I like it, and we haven't done it on the channel, I'll hit it with a heart and tell you I'm going to do your request. That's all I got. Wow, <laughs> <laughs>